Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to be testing an industrial solenoid valve. Here we're looking at a 24 volt DC max seal solenoid valve with an outlet, an inlet and an exhaust port. So this is a three-way solenoid valve because it's got three ports. The electrical connections, we're connected up to the positive and negative. As I said, it's a 24 volt solenoid valve, so the coil of the solenoid is energized by 24 volts. Into the inlet, we're going to put an air supply, follow the blue pipe back, that's into our air supply. Through a regulator, set at around 4 bar, which is standard for industrial uses. Now to test the solenoid, simply turn on the air. You should be able to hear it going through there. Always just check by venting off the regulator a little bit. Yeah, we've got air there. So the next thing to do is to energize the solenoid, we plug in our transformer to give us our 24 volt supply and apply voltage to the coil. As you can see the air supply is now coming out the outlet as required. On testing a solenoid never just test it once. You need to make sure you're getting repeatability. And again. And for any of those that's hard of hearing, we'll get a piece of paper. Just to show you it's not just sound effects. If I can get it to stand up. And the final test. There we have it. So how does it work? So if we look at the picture on the left hand side where it says de-energized, we can see three ports, number one, number two, and number three. We can see a copper coil and we can see a core. And the shaded area on number two demonstrates that, that this is pressurized. So this is air being the shaded area. So if we want to make the air travel through the solenoid valve out to number one, which on this is calling the cylinder, then we have to energize the solenoid. Now the way to energize the solenoid, as shown earlier, is to apply a voltage. So if you see the, the three wires at the top right hand side of the diagram, then we applied a 24 volts DC energy supply to the copper coil. Now when a voltage is applied to a copper coil, it becomes an electromagnet. So the magnet of the coil then pushes away the magnet on the core. It pushes it downwards in this case. So if, if you look at the energized picture on the right hand side, you can see that the core has moved downwards. This has created a path from position two to position one. So the air supply has gone through the solenoid to number one, where it says CYL. Now CYL refers to a cylinder. This is because normally in these um, applications, the pressure is going to drive a valve and the valve normally has a cylinder. Now, when you de-energize the valve again, the spring that you can see will push the core back to its original position because the magnet has lost its ener energy supply and it puts it back to where it was and this creates a path from position 1 to position 3 
which vents off the cylinder of the valve and de-energizes the solenoid. So this is a very basic overview of how a solenoid valve works. It's, basic, it's based on the principle of electromagnetism and they're actually a very simple device which usually works very well.